Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jake Jabarelli of Jabarelli.com, just a bunch of referral links. And I think I talked about Decentraland, gosh, it seems like a year ago. I have no idea how long it's been. It's been a while, I know that. Um, but uh, I recently learned about an event happening. Uh, it's later this month, it says it's the 15th, so on the 23rd, uh, one of the cryptocurrency company companies out there, uh, Game Credit, Game Credits, uh, is holding an event here in Decentraland. Now, apparently a lot of people do things in Decentraland, I had no idea, um, but uh, I find it really fascinating that uh, this virtual environment is just getting better and better and better as we go along. So here I am actually right now in Decentraland. As you can see, this is this spinning marquee here. This is the starting area. And there are some people hanging out here. I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of how to get in and then what all is going to go on. This is very impromptu. I'll probably give a better description later. It's not super complicated. If you've ever played an MMO, it's not really that much different. Uh, it's different in the sense that there's obviously no fighting. All right, there might be fighting. I haven't seen any. Um, but there's lots of things to do. Here we go, Pawn Square. You walk into an area and it just pops up an interface and you can interact with it. This is obviously for chess. Um, you use the little circle dot in the middle of the screen to interact um, with whatever needs to be done. Usually the keys are really close to the WASD that you'd normally use to travel. So uh, it's, it's not that hard. Uh, the, the interface is a little weird, janky if anything. Uh, it's very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, my, uh, what's that, my, <laughs> what it's called now? Uh, uh, damn it. Why can I not think of what the blocky, blockiest game in the world is? Um, yeah, well, all right, I'll think of it in a second here. You know what I'm talking about probably already. You're probably just screaming at your screen right now. It's the mining game. It's the game with all the, the zombies and the fire. Yeah, it was. It looks the same. Uh, slightly a little bit more refined in my opinion. I don't know why this slipped on my mind. Um, anyways, uh, it looks like the game, in my opinion. So I came in here, like I said, probably almost a year ago, if not over a year ago. And it's got honestly got a lot better looking. There's a lot more stuff here. It's a lot prettier. Uh, it's just, I mean, there's more details they added before. There wasn't nearly as much stuff in here. Like, here we go. Here was a way of interacting. I can play the, it's this Tomb Chaser game, which I've already been to. I went over there earlier. Um, and it'll tell you, it teleports you across the map to where the game is and you can play the game. Um, you can talk to people. Uh, let's say I hit escape and go down here and do chat. You can talk this way in the little chat bar down here in the left-hand corner. You can find your friends. I don't have any. I think that's obvious, uh, <laughs> but it's because I haven't really tried to get any people in here. So if you guys want to befriend me when you actually get in here, it's fine. Um, you can get a generic avatar uh, for free, just a gen general person. You can actually build your avatar here. Um, uh, you can click on the avatar button. It'll take you to all the avatar functionality here, all the different things that you can put on your tune. And I picked up this Binance thing recently. I went over to uh, the Binance.us uh, building inside Decentraland and got this free loot. Uh, there are lots of other things you can get from Binance. You can also buy stuff. You can also generate stuff. You can make all kinds of neat things anyways. Um, I think of myself as a pretty laid back guy. They don't really have ch color changes yet. So I want to change the color of, of this stuff, but it, it, you can't do it. I guess I can't do it yet. Um, so that's the general interface. And then if you hit, uh, if you do what it says here, type slash help, it gives you a little uh, rundown of the slash things you can do. Players, you know, show your frame rate, get a name, mute, um, whisper. And then if you want to go to a particular part of the map, you need to go to the whole map itself here and uh, check out anyone. You can just double click here and it jump in Literally, it, it takes a while to load, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, it also depends. Like, it, I don't know, don't know if it's exactly my computer or if it's the fact that I'm running on Brave instead of on Chrome, but for some reason, 
the speed of loading can get weird. Now, maybe it's not true for your computer. I'm running a Ryzen 9 uh, 3900. It's a pretty quick computer with 32 gigs of RAM. So I don't think I'm having a problem with that. Um, but for some reason, getting around uh, when you actually do a jump takes a while to load. I wish I knew why that was. Um, so I am going to hoof it. But in doing so, I will take you through some of the neat things you'll see here. We've got the Trade Center here. You can buy, uh, buy mana, right? This is the token that you use to buy most things in the game, buy and or sell. And this is showing the price in, in USD ETH. Um, oh, there's ETH price and Bitcoin price. You can, you can go upstairs, different other places inside. Uh, look, they have a trade volume. How much mana changed hand yesterday in the last few days to a month. So um, there's all kinds of neat things you can check out in here. Uh, See, so there we go, the interaction button. You can mouse over the thing and hit E, and then you could buy these silly astronaut shoes <laughs> or these crazy Pippi Longstocking socks. Um, people obviously make a lot of these different items that you can buy and make for your character. I mean, you can make stuff and sell it, or you can buy stuff from people who have made stuff and so on and so forth. Anyways, um, not everything that people have created is really all that great. I, I really appreciate these ramps because you can actually walk on them. Uh, whereas some people make stairs and you have to end up jumping all the way to the top. <laughs> um, so not great, not terrible. You can see my character is kind of hopping as he walks down the stairs. Um, so anyways, the uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm getting closer. I go out here and just kind of peruse through the various things on my way out to the game credits area. I do wish I could get a little bit more uh, distance, but I think it would just take loading a lot more into the browser. And I don't know that that's necessarily a good thing. Uh, okay, let me go through here. And I'm not. Okay. Something is blocking me from going that direction. Might not be able to get all the way over to where I want to get to, but let's just find out. Um, any of these green force fields that they put up give you an idea of where you can and cannot go. You can see into the green force field, but you can't go into it. So this might be owned by somebody for some whatever reason. Um, but the park, all the space here that's green, you know, open land, that usually just hasn't been purchased yet. So, or else it's reserved for whatever reason. I wouldn't say that this, the interface itself is like superb. It's not perfect. It's, it's not bad, but it's not great. I mean, it, I think the whole point of keeping it simple like this is so that you can run easily in your browser. All right, I'm about halfway there. A whole lot out here. So it's all this empty, uh, empty space. No one's built anything on yet. Lots and lots of room inside Decentraland. Um, I'm not quite sure why they decided to put the things quite so far apart. Maybe it's just spreading out on purpose. That way, when people actually start building in here, there's stuff that isn't just right smack dab in the center of the of the uh, space. So there's a lot of stuff out here. As you can see, people have designed quite a few things. It looks like it could be an amusement park. By the way, it looks. Who knows? It's interesting to me to see just the design that people come up with. It's amazing, honestly. Okay, almost to Crypto Valley here. Here's Crypto Valley. It's a very amazing designs of, uh, yeah, Crypto Valley. Welcome. So um, it's a convention center here. Uh, you got this battle racer you can kind of see over there. There's, there's, all right, this is closed. Can't go there. This is, look at this design. It's very pretty. I mean, whoever did this, I commend them. They're their design is impressive. Um, all right, here's, a, here's some stairs. These, I think these, these stairs actually were difficult to climb. Yeah, they're not. But while I was wandering around up here, and I'm not going to do it again, somebody put a hole in this floor, and uh, I fell through it. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, you, you can fall pretty far, and what you won't get here. I've already jumped off a three-story building. It was fine. Uh, you don't really have a health bar, so it's not really about that. It's about meeting with other people. But I walked up on the second floor there and walked right along this, like where this rail is, and fell through. And then I fell through into the audience, and then fell through the <laughs> through the ground. 
I don't really want to get stuck because reloading takes forever and I don't want to put you guys through that part. So somewhere around here, 59, okay, I gotta go a little bit south. Ooh, the DeLorean, did not see that last time. That is very cool. That is, that's a pretty good proximity, uh, facsimile, honestly. They did a really good job with that. I'm amazed, we got the lines. Tires look great. Tire wheels and tires look accurate. That is so cool. Sorry, didn't see that last time I was over here. So, <laughs> the, uh, one, of the, one of the many conference rooms where you can meet, um, you go in here and you can listen. It's neat how this works. Once you step onto the actual ground of a particular place, it'll start playing uh, whatever either video is on the screen. I went to uh, Chico Crypto recently and uh, you know, walked in this building. As soon as I walked in the building, the video started playing and I could hear him just like I was watching YouTube. It was really neat. Um, all right, here we go. And it's closed. That's weird. Last I was over here, it was open. I wonder if I can go around and get inside. Nope, it looks like it's not open right now. I must have put the walls up while I was uh, <laughs> mucking about in there, but I can't get in now. See, this green wall is keeping me from going inside. Anyways, it's not really super important. Uh, it's probably just because they're gonna, they don't want anybody going in until the event. Um, but I did get at least one screenshot earlier to prove that I got in there. It doesn't really ultimately matter, I don't think. Um, all that's really full of is these three, three uh, level tiers they have in here. Just have a bunch of um, you know things you can click on for the various social media they have access to. So yeah, on October 23rd, I'm not sure if it's going to be evening, morning, when it'll be, what time it'll be. But they're going to have an open house event here for game credits. Game credits is then just a, another cryptocurrency. Uh, right now, it doesn't have a really great high value. Um, uh, I'm currently mining it just because I can. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's something I've had for a long time. I've had game cre game credits for a long time. It's kind of oh oh did they open it? Wow, look at that. That must have been do interesting. Well, anyway, um, but yeah, October 23rd is when they're going to be doing their event. And um, I just thought everybody, I let people know that was just one aspect here. Um, see, you can go to these different levels, go to level three, level two, level one in the, uh, inside this building. Oh, it looks like this guy's opening up his, uh, uh, what is this thing here? Swally. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Uh, swale, maybe it's swale. Yeah, whale. So, dollar sign whale, okay. <laughs> it looks like a whale. Oh man, did I pronounce that wrong? How did I know it was going to be so poor? All right, let's go in here and say interact with. Uh, it tells you what the uh, Discord channel is. So, um, Twitter, yep. Whale Shark Pro. So, yeah. Um, just can't get out that way. Just, uh, kind of neat actually design very impressive it looks just like a whale's mouth it looks like there's more stuff going up yeah it looks just like a whale um, this stuff I just went up because this was not here when I was here only like an hour ago um, this building was here but this uh, model was not uh, it doesn't appear to have any interaction on it so I'm not entirely sure what it's for I'm sure somebody will put an interactive device on there at some point. Wow, these stairs. Let's see if they're walking. Yep, they're definitely walkable. That's cool. Didn't go there before. Neat little car sitting down here. Uh, it's very low. I don't think I could fit in there. Uh, yeah. Very, very nice looking. I don't know how I could zoom in on it, but I love the reflection. You can kind of see that clouds are reflecting off of it. Of course, it's kind of inconsistent since it should be reflecting the building and not the clouds that are behind the building. <laughs> um, well, I'm sure they'll fix that eventually. Um, let's just uh, wander over here and have a look at the rest of the uh, Crypto Valley that they've got. Let's see here. Uh, where is the entrance to this building? Did I miss it? Oh, no, here we go. More mana prices. Land transactions. People can buy land. 
Um, that's one of the things that's kind of neat about this is not just buying space, but actually, you know, buying and selling space. And after all, these things are all NFTs, non-fungible tokens. So um, Office 2 is at the term at the top. This is very nice. This is oh, a Rupix Cube. <laughs> uh, what's the people drawing? Yeah, it's like kind of uh, drawings of different aspects. Crypto Valley, that's so cool. Uh, I wouldn't say this looks like Silicon Valley, but um, even if that's the intent of what they're going for it to, to look like. Let's see if the elevator comes back down. There we go. Go up to the second floor. Ah, here we go. Decentraland Foundation. This must be their head office. That's what's up here. Oh wow, we're at big old auditorium. That's nice. So you see these stairs? This is an example of that. So you see how I walked into it and I couldn't keep going? Because you need to you need to jump in order to get up to the top of the stairs. I don't think they intended it to be to me like a you know, stopper so you can't get up there, but maybe when people are standing around watching this presentation on this gigantic screen they have in here, they don't want people to just run into those. I mean, everything is, is clipping, so you'll clip through any any person that you walk into, you're not gonna you know, you know, knock them over if you run into them. But um, it's it's there's still I'm glad to look at this like in in any other situation you might have accidentally just walked out the window here which wouldn't ultimately have been a problem but at the same time then you're no longer on the floor you want to be on. Um, I did this earlier. Let's see if the crypto kitties are still down there. These these Axie Infinity things and when I was down there yes uh, an hour ago there were a bunch of crypto kitties out in the field. <laughs> they were just right in my face meowing at me the whole time. It was really hilarious. Um, right, here comes the elevator. So I'm gonna see if I can go find the Crypto Kitties again. They followed me. It was a little freaky. I'm not saying I, I, I dislike cats, but it was just weird to see a bunch of digital uh, cats coming after me. Let's see. Oh yeah, here they come. All right. <laughs> uh, it's a, see, see the bottom. It says click the ground and send the axes to target. Um, there we go. <laughs> they stop following me they, they go to the target I put on the ground let's put another one go over there weird things oh yeah so it's over here on this against this wall okay, I think the wall was even here at the time and uh, they uh, there were a bunch of crypto kitties just hanging out on the, on the grass <laughs> wish I'd taken a screenshot of that then but it was hilarious because oh man here they come <laughs> they just follow me as soon as I get out they, no don't follow me go to the target you weird weird things you whatever these axes are all right so i'm um, sorry this is getting a little bit long in the tooth i wanted everybody to just get an idea of um kind of the way that uh uh, uh, uh what's it called decentraline is starting to look now um there's tons of stuff this is all much a whole lot more, more active than it was when i was here uh, obviously today is the 15th i don't know if anyone knows that by watching this but i honestly thought something would be going on here at uh, the crypto valley convention center I went inside earlier um, before I started running this video and uh, just to get a feel for what it looks like. This is just amazing. This place is just it's stunning. I love the design. It's so beautiful. Um, Minecraft. Yeah, it just came to me. You know, you're probably screaming, Minecraft, Minecraft. Why can't you understand it's Minecraft? Yes, Minecraft. It looks like Minecraft, but a much prettier version of Minecraft in my opinion. And obviously no zombies. So um, anyways, yeah, other people. I could talk to these people if I wanted to, but I, I know that if I stop my interview, or my interview, talking to you guys about this, then um, it won't be done in the next, hopefully, three minutes before I run into the 20-minute mark. Oh, I got one minute left. All right, so anyways, um, yeah, I don't want to make this go forever, so uh, I just want you guys to give an idea. Come check out uh, Decentraland. This is Crypto Valley here, um, just to the east and a little bit north, and I'm sorry if it takes you, you can always do a jump. You can just hit the space you want, hit jump in, it'll take you right there. Hopefully your computer's faster than mine is. Anyways, this is just a 20-minute short, short overview. Thanks for checking it out, uh, and I will be making more videos, probably videoing my um, my time here on the 23rd for D, for game credits uh, a debut. So come check it out. It's pretty neat, and uh, catch you in the next. On the flip side, thanks for watching.